Now for seven years after police say he shot the person closest to him, fully intending to kill her. Well, as the U.S. Marshals take on the case, 7 Action News reporter Anne Marie Laflame brings us this week's Detroit's Most Wanted. They have matching tattoos, but the U.S. Marshals say that didn't stop Bryant Pratt from shooting his girlfriend in front of both of their children. Nine in a million years, I would have thought he would have did that. Pom, it's tattooed right here on Rolanda Cullum's neck, her ex-boyfriend's street name, but it's not the only mark he left on her. He actually shot me in front of my kids and his own kid. Rolanda took us back to the scene where it all happened in 2010, here on Burlingame on Detroit's west side. It was horrible. I mean, I really didn't know too much of what to do. Like, I'm timing myself. Like, I've been shot in the heart area. I got two kids in here. He has a daughter in here. I need to get everybody to safety. This is the man police say is responsible, 48-year-old Bryant Pratt. They say he abandoned his home after the shooting, is keeping a low profile, while Rolanda says the threats and terror continues. I lost a tremendous amount of blood. I was in the ICU. I actually checked myself out the hospital earlier because he was making a lot of threats to me. The U.S. Marshals now leading the hunt for Pratt. But if that bullet was a half inch up or down, it could have been in the heart. He was intending to kill her. You don't shoot somebody in the chest in hopes they're going to live. They need your help finding Bryant Pratt. He's 5'6", 155 pounds. He has a matching tattoo on his neck with the letters R and O and a criminal history of drugs and robbery. I move randomly. I keep myself secluded from people. You know, I'm, I'm a homebody now. I really don't, I don't go out. He has to go to jail. Been out way too long. She had to live her life in fear way too long. Time for him to go to jail and answer up to these charges. There's a reward for any information leading to Pratt's arrest. You can call the U.S. Marshals anytime and remain anonymous at 313-234-5656. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News.